it's a reminder of just how big our universe is. During an eclipse is when the universe is really screaming at you that, hey, I'm three-dimensional. Here's an object that is moving in front of something else. A solar eclipse with a path of totality where people will see our moon completely cover up Earth's most important star. It's always at new moon, but we don't have a solar eclipse every new moon. High Point University physics and astronomy instructor Jeff Register says we can predict when they'll happen thanks to our understanding of the moon's orbits and physics. And in reality, they're not that rare. Solar eclipses happen you know, once or twice a year, somewhere on the Earth. It comes down to where, and if the moon will be close enough to us for a total eclipse, or if it'll be a little further away, causing an annular eclipse. That's when the moon can't quite cover up the entire sun, causing a ring around the moon. I've seen totality. It is an awesome spiritual event. Speaking as a scientist, it's a spiritual event. And while the sun isn't any more dangerous during an eclipse than any other time. A normal day, a sunny day, people don't tend to go up and stare at the sun. And during a solar eclipse, that is the temptation. You're going to need these. The plastic is blocking like 99.9% .9 of the light. And so you just, you're not going to drive, don't drive with these on. Register says you'll almost immediately get a burn spot on your retina that'll never repair itself. It's going to be within seconds. You're going to do damage. And since there aren't any pain receptors on the retina, you're not going to feel it. People will, will be tempted to, to squint and say, oh, I'm squinting. No, don't, please don't do that. The only time it's safe to look at an eclipse with the naked eye is when it's in totality. When the moon is completely in, in front of the sun, it's totally okay to, to not use this. And unfortunately, that's not happening in North Carolina. But Register says, well, it's cool to look up, you should also look down. You can use a board like this with holes poked in it. You can just hold it up to the sunlight and look at the shadow of this board on the ground and you'll see the little dappled sunlight. Or even with sunlight coming through a tree. Look at all those dapples of sunlight and they'll all be crescent suns. The eclipse starts just before 2 in the afternoon and ends a couple minutes before 4.30. And the next total eclipse that can be seen from the U.S. will happen in 2044. In High Point, Michael Hennessy, Fox 8 News.